Sunday morning. I think today is day 14, two weeks of our hunker down 2020 because of the coronavirus. Shirley and I are faring rather well. We're taking it seriously. A lot of people are not, still are not, despite the fact that a lot of people have lost their lives because of the coronavirus. It's kind of distressing. But early morning, peaceful. The world is waking up. The birds are making a lot of beautiful noise. And we begin lodge on Sunday morning. Oh God, make speed to save me. Oh Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And because we're in Lent, rather than saying Alleluia, we say praise to Thee, O Lord, King of eternal glory. Benedict's formulation of the Psalms, then we begin with Psalm 67. And we'll not read the entire Psalm, we'll just, the first verse of it is, is, is so timely, considering the coronavirus that we're, we're having to deal with. And maybe maybe it'd be a good idea to make this our collective prayer God be merciful unto us and bless us and show us the light of your countenance and be merciful unto us that thy way may be known upon the earth thy saving health among all nations it's a beautiful psalm Psalm 51 follows Psalm 67 according to Benedict's ordering of the Psalms. That beautiful penitential psalm. Have mercy upon me, O God, after thy great goodness. According to the multitude of thy mercies, do away mine offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. Verse 17 of Psalm 51 says, The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, shalt thou not despise? And I'm reminded of how this issue of sin in our own human sinfulness how we should never be comfortable with our sin. We should mourn because of our sin. And why? Because it is our sin. Excuse me. It is our sin that separates us from God. It is our sin that keeps us from realizing and experiencing the love of God. And then after Psalm 51, Psalm 118, O give thanks unto the Lord, for He is gracious, because His mercy endureth forever. God desires to shower us with His mercy. And we, we experience the mercy of God as we repent, as we confess our sins, as we apply 
as we allow God to apply God's remedy for sin to our lives, as we allow Him to purge us, cleanse us with the blood of Jesus, to purge us with, with hyssop, so to speak. Verse 24 of Psalm 118 says, This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Even today, in the midst of this corona thing going on, in the midst of all of the difficulties and the inconveniences and the challenges and the hardships, this is still the day the Lord has made. Rejoice. Rejoice and be glad in it. Look for the good in every moment of the day. That's hard to do. It really is. But look for the good in every moment of every day. There's a canticle then that follows the, the psalms that are read, that are chanted in the monastery. And the canticle for Sunday of Lauds is the song of the three children. Uh, talking about... Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel chapter 3 verses 35 through 66 that begins with the words, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord, praise Him, and magnify Him forever. And then there's a long litany that follows O ye angels of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O ye heavens, bless ye the Lord. O ye waters, bless ye the Lord. And then there's a long, long litany that says, O ye priests of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O ye servants of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O ye spirits and souls of the righteous, bless ye the Lord. The antiphon says at the king's commandment, the three children were cast into the furnace, fearing not the flame of the fire, but saying, Blessed be our God. Psalm 148 then follows. Psalm 149. Psalm 150. And then the chapter says blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. With a responsory of thanks be to God. And then after, after the chapter, this is the responsory. Incline my heart, O God, unto thy testimonies. And it's repeated. Incline my heart, O God, unto thy testimonies. Turn away mine eyes, lest they behold vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way, according, or excuse me, unto thy testimonies. And quicken thou me in thy way unto thy testimonies. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Incline my heart, O God, unto thy testimonies. And it concludes with the hymn, Maker of all eternal King, who day and night about dost bring, who weary mortals to believe, just in their turn, the seasons give. And then there's several verses of that that I love it in the monastery, the way the chant goes, that's that sung. Glory to the Father 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.